Good evening, Chair, members of the committee, Adam Smith, Project Manager in the City Manager's Office, here today with the First Amendment to Federal and State Lobbyist Agreements and Resolution on Legislative Advocacy Letters. The recommendation is that the Finance and Governance Committee recommend that the City Council, one, approve and authorize the Mayor to execute a First Amendment with HROD Incorporated, John R. O'Donnell, for federal lobbyist services for an increase of $196,200 for a total contract amount not to exceed $392,400 beginning January 14th, 2021 through January 13th, 2024. Two, prove and authorize the mayor to execute a First Amendment with Michael J. Arnold and Associates for state lobbyist services for an increase of $48,000 for a total not for a total contract amount not to exceed 288,000 beginning January 14th, 2021 through January 13th, 2024. And three, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager in consultation with the mayor and mayor pro tem to prepare and to execute advocacy letters on the city's behalf to the state and federal government and authorizing the city attorney in consultation with the mayor and mayor pro tem to prepare and to execute core publication or depublication advocacy letters on the city's behalf. So the current agreements with our two um, our lobbyists with uh, MMO partners and Arnold and Associates um, both expired in uh, back on January 13th of this year. Both firms assist the city in developing and implementing effective federal and state advocacy strategies to not only increase funding opportunities, but also to influence federal and state laws and policies as they relate to the city's priorities little background on uh, MMO partners. They're a full service government affairs firm. They have significant experience with in lobbying Congress and the executive branch of federal government. The firm provides federal legislative advocacy and governmental affairs services on behalf of the city to all city departments, uh, particularly public safety, HALICO remediation activities and infrastructure funding projects. MMO Partners also regularly provides legislative reports and effective representation with federal administration, agency departments, and associations. A little bit of what they completed for us uh, in the past calendar year, they did uh, some outreach to a consulting firm working with FEMA. Um, the um, firm was responsible for review and issuing a comment letter concerning flood wall design at the city's wagon wheel development. Uh, they also had discussion with Senator Feinstein's office to recommend that the senator, as well as Congresswoman uh, Julie Brownlee, engage with the new EPA administrator on the city's Halico Superfund site. Uh, it's on the south end of the city next to Ormond Beach. Um, they also worked with Public Works and the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, Reclamation staff to ensure the city's feasibility study met with Title 16 program criteria for the city's advanced water purification project. And finally, continued discussions on the city's FEMA hazard mitigation funding project with FEMA headquarters and the city's congressional de uh, delegation, including Julia Brownlee. Um, and uh, a complete list of MMO partners' legislative highlights are attached to the staff report. In 2021, uh, we're making significant, uh, in order to make significant progress in two critical areas, the city is gonna be narrowing the scope of work and have MO partners seek tangible progress in two key areas. One is fully remediating the Halico EPA Superfund site and completing the levy system impacting the city. Arnold and Associates are our state representatives, also a full serve government affairs firm with uh, experience in lobbying state legislators. Uh, over the past several years, the most important activity has involved the state budget and related fiscal issues. Obviously 2020 was no different. The firm meets weekly during the legislative session with representatives of not only the League of California Cities and other um, municipal lobbyists in Sacramento, but also um, legislators. And they also provide the city with comprehensive legislative monitoring, bill review, service, reviews all legislation and amended forms and keeps the city up to date. Uh, like MMO partners, their 2020 legislative highlights included testifying on behalf of the city to the California Statewide Advisory Committee on Cooling Water Intake Structures about the Ormond Beach Generating Station, met with Assemblymember Jack Irwin staff to discuss sponsorship of the Homelessness Task Force Bill, had discussions with Senator Hannah Beth Jackson's office regarding budget funding requests for the city, 
testified at the California Water Board hearing on April 21st for the Ormond power plant at once through cooling uh, timeline extension, finally reviewed funding for homelessness and housing included in the initial state budget. Similarly to MMO partners, a complete list of legislative highlights is attached to the staff report. And also like MMO partners, um, the city's narrowing the scope of work uh, for Arnold and Associates in 2021. And we're gonna have um, their firm focus on advocating for the following legislative priorities. One would be Fox Canyon Groundwater Management Agency Board composition changes and two advocacy for local governance control. And then finally, um, we have a resolution on advocacy letters. Um, you know, from time to time, it may be necessary for the city to send these types of letters on behalf of the city to state legislators or our federal representatives in Washington, D.C. So this resolution will authorize the city manager in consultation with the mayor and mayor pro tem to prepare and to execute these advocacy letters on the city's behalf. And it also will authorize the city attorney in consultation with the mayor and mayor pro tem to prepare and to execute court opinion publication or depublication advocacy letters on the city's behalf. So the recommendation again is for the Finance and Governance Committee to recommend that the city council approve and authorize the mayor to execute a first amendment with John R. O'Donnell for federal lobby services. Uh, to approve and authorize the mayor to execute a first amendment with Arnold and Associates for state lobbyist services and three, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager in consultation with the mayor and mayor pro tem, as well as the city attorney in consultation with the mayor and mayor pro tem to prepare and to execute advocacy letters and to prepare and to execute core publication or depublication advocacy letters respectively on the city's behalf. And with that, that concludes my presentation. Thank you so much.